Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my Magic the Gathering stuff. I have some stuff to talk to you about today, and I'm going to be showing you a deck I made. Now, you can, again, you can, this is a modern deck. You can, Kindles are modern. So, yeah, but you, um, this is a modern deck I made. It's really good. It works. This is, like, tier 2 modern, so Friday Night Magic modern, but it will win. Um, it's really interesting. It's a mechanic that's not used very often. You probably haven't seen it. If you were played older back in Quagmars that you've seen it, but... Unless you played way back then, in 2004, when you haven't seen this mechanic. So, Kindle, and I'm going to reveal that to you. But I realized something else. Um, Kindle deals two target creature or player an amount of damage equal to two plus the number of Kindle cards in your graveyard. I realized something else. Um, sex sells. Um, I was watching some Magic channels the other day, and I came across this one, which is just this Asian lady... And, like, she's just showing up cleavage the entire time. And she just, just gets, she has, like, 500 subs, but she doesn't even post anything. She posts only trade binder videos, nothing else. And she has 500 subs. And I think the only reason she has 500 subs is because sex sells. It's what people want to see. If you want me to take my shirt off? Yeah, I'm joking. That'd not be a pretty sight. Um, but... Yeah, I think that's kind of ridiculous, though, that people are just like, you're going to subscribe to a channel about magic because sh a woman's going off. I think that's kind of stupid. Um, post if you agree with me or not. Um, Crushing Pain, 2 mana. Crushing Pain deals 6 damage to target creature with dealt damage this turn. We're getting closer and closer each day to my 100 subs in a big, big giveaway, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Go watch my 100 sub giveaway video. Yep. Unchecked growth, target creature gets 4 plus 4 until on the turn. If it's a spirit, it gains trample until on the turn. Yep, this is a spirit deck. Um, one of the abilities you'll see the biggest ability you miss is called soul shifting. I'll explain it when we get to it. Sheena of Life's Roar. All creatures able to block Sheena of Life Roar do so. Channel 4, discard Sheena of Life's Roar. All creatures able to block target creature this turn do so. Sacrifice here is where Soul Shift is. Sacrifice Blur Grifter, target creature gets 2 plus 2 on time to turn 2 2. Now, Soul Shift is. See, example, this guy has Soul Shift free here. I'll, yeah, Soul Shift free. When this is put into a graveyard from play, you may return a target spirit card with converted mana cost to free or less from your graveyard to your hand. So, um, this entire deck's based around those kind of abilities. So, I can. Whenever one of my creatures dies, I can immediately bring back another one. You can even target this creature. So if it dies, I can target it and bring it back. So like this is Soul Shift 4. So I could bring when this dies, I could bring back this back. Um so I have like a never ending horde of creatures that come back each time something else dies. Kuma may block as though it had flying. I guess this is before reach. Um Soul Shift 4. Well this is back in two thousand four if I'm correct. I don't know. If you were playing back then tell me. I think it's from two thousand four or five. Um, Kami of Attended Garden. If you can replace these, do so. I have these in here as a filler right now until I'm, um, I'm gonna replace them with something else I'll show you later. Cause you have to pay one green mana continuously. It's a 4-4 four, four with three soul shift. Um, Inner Calm, Outer Strength. This card's really good. Three mana, target creature gets X plus X until in the turn where X is the number of cards in your hand. It's good, great. Good card, good card. Hey, look, they're all foil from... I don't know why there's a black swamp in there. Black swamp in there. Black. I don't want to be racist. No racist comment for me. Um, Ghostland Nourisher. Target creature gets 2 plus 2 until on the turn. Love this card. Discard Ghostland Nourisher. Target creature gets 4 plus 4 until on the turn for free mana to 2 1. This card is one of the cards I'm planning on replacing that tree with. Um, Promise Kanushi. Soul Shift 7. So when this is put into a graveyard from play, you may return target spirit card with converted mana cost of 7 or less. That's. That's a lot from your graveyard to your hand. So any of those big creatures, those big legend like spear creatures from this set, you can return another one of those. I mean, it's a one one, but for one mana, and if it dies, bring back something with seven or less. Whenever you play a spirit arcane spell, put a one plus one counter on target creature. Five mana, three three, three card. Um, this is my ramp for the deck because some of those cards are expensive. If penalty and Baku, whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell, you may put a key counter on Pendle and Baku. Remove a key counter from Baku. I add X man to any color in your map. Well, I have Birds of Paradise in here too. I just took it out because we all know what Birds of Paradise is. Unchecked growth. 
Hanakami. Sac this is another card, the other card I'm going to replace one of those trees with another one of these. Sacrifice Hanakami, return to arcane card from your graveyard to your hand, so arcane spells. Um, Forked Branch Garmi, Soul Shift 4. Soul Shift 4. I think that's an error. When this is pointed to the graveyard from play, you may return up to two targets. Oh, two. Never mind, it's not an error, it's not an error. Two. Well, that's that's great. Um, Number Kindle. Kindles are lightning bolts, but every time I go to the graveyard, you they do more damage. So every Kindle you use, it does an extra, like, two damage. Um, Ghostlit Raider deals two damage. It's the opposite of a green one. Ghostlit Raider deals two damage to target creature, and if you sacrifice it, it deals four damage to target creature. Number one of Sheena's Life's Roar. Glacial Ray deals two damage to target creature or player. My big cards in here that I'm going to be, what the Soul Shift is used for, is I'll sacrifice them from my hand of a graveyard, and then I'll Soul Shift with them, and I'll show you later. Whenever a play spirit reveal the top three cards of your library, put all land cards revealed this way into your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library. Oh, Drujuko. Yeah, you may, though. You don't have to. You may. Um, Crushing Pain deals 6 damage to target creature. Damn it, damage to you this turn. That's great. This is one of them. So, this is one of those spirit cards I was talking about that I um, ramp up for, and that I'll send to my graveyard immediately on, like, turn 2 and play it on turn 3. Kunama of the North Tree, for 5 mana, it's a 6-4 trample, and can't be the target of spells or abilities. That's that's a great card. The other one is Kodoma of the South Tree. Ha, ha, ha. Wait, you see something going on here? Whenever you display a spirit or arcane spell, each other creature you control gets 1 plus 1 and gains trample until end of turn. So a bunch of those Kindles, and yeah. This is the other, there's two other ones in here that do. Ashok Sky Asunder. I hope, yep. They're right next to each other. Ashok, Sky Asunder. Sky Asunder deals X damage to target creature with flying. Discard Ash deals X damage to each creature with flying. And, in contrast to that, Dryer the Earth Flame deals X damage to target creature without flying. Deals X damage to each creature without flying. In contrast. Um, Rending Vines, destroy target artifact or enchantment is converted the cost is less than equal to the number of cards in your hand. Draw a card. Another shitty Konama of a tree that I'm going to replace. Kindle. Kindle. Another one of these. Another Sunflower. These are expensive, by the way. These are like a dollar. They're two dollars. This deck wasn't really expensive. It was twenty dollars for this deck, but it's a great deck. I recommend it. If you want a fun deck that none of your friends are going to be using and that they've never seen before, then this is definitely the deck for you. I'm going to flip these up right side up. I think they're... Slow shift four. There we go. Another one of these. Another one of these. Here we go. Glitter Fang. We're on red mana at the end of turn. Return Glitter Fang to its owner's hand. Oh, um, I took the green mana out right now just so. Um, I should have taken the red mana out too. Love this one. Strength of Cedar. Third creature gets X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of lands you control. Great card for five mana. Um. Koda's Might, target creature gets 2 plus 2 until end of turn, splice on the arcane so you can play both of them. Um, Ghostlit Raider, Ghostlit Nourisher, Devouring Rage, an additional cosplay Devouring Rage, you may sacrifice any number of spirits, or get free plus 3 until end of turn for each spirit, sacrifice this, this way, this creature gets an additional free plus 3 until end of turn. So it gets free plus 3, and if you sacrifice spirits, it gets more free plus 3s. Frost Fang, Sacrifice Fox Ring, deals one damage to target creature, and a mountain. Um, thank you for watching. Next, I'm going to be doing something non-magical rated. I'm going to show you it right now. It's called Low Life. It's something you guys might have never heard of. It's going to be really interesting. You should watch it. Um, I'll be explaining it to you guys and going over it. Um, thank you for watching. I'm also going to be uploading one more deck video. Remember to please comment, like, and subscribe, and share. If you share me, I will share you back. And I love comments. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Thank you, and bye-bye. Shout out to um, Quentin Die.